What's up everybody, I'm Johan Wolbrink and I'm with Neff Automation and today I want to talk to you guys about Lloyd's MLC 500 series light curtains. Now these light curtains are made locally in New Hudson, Michigan with great functionality and capabilities. They come in a wide variety of lengths with varying resolutions to fit your safety needs. Those resolutions are offered in 14 and 20 millimeter resolution for finger safe applications, 30 millimeter resolution for your hand safe applications, and even 40 and 90 millimeter resolution for your limb safe applications. Now looking at the different series of the light curtains, we start with the MLC 510 series. This is Lloyd's baseline light curtain for customers looking for light curtains for basic functionality. Both the emitter and the receiver come standard with an M12 5 pin connector, making the wiring up process very simple. Simply supply power and connect the OSSDs to your safety relay and you're good to go. Moving up to the MLC 520 series, these light curtains give you some added functionality such as LEDs to help with your alignment along with the capability of doing cascading where you can have multiple light currents connected together. Last but not least, we have the MLC 530 series light currents. These light currents have extended functionality for muting and blanking, which I'll go over here shortly with this demo here on the table. Along with the muting and blanking with these light curtains, we offer the same LEDs that the MLC 520 series has that helps you align these light curtains in your initial setup. Now that we've covered the different versions of the MLC 500s, let's go over some of those advanced functions of the MLC 530 series. The first function I want to cover today with the MLC 530 series light curtains is fixed blanking. Fixed blanking is just going to block out the beams of where you have an object going through the light curtains. Now it will fault out if that object is removed or if the object moves up and down and breaks beams that are not already set to be broken. So in order to do so, we're going to place the object here inside the light curtains and we're going to hit our teach button two times. And so now we have taught the light curtain to the teach. Uh, for this uh, Rubik's cube, I can move it forward and you see now it falls out and I get an error code. But as soon as I move back down, you're good. And if I fall below, it's also errors. And same if I said this object has to be fed through here in fixed blanking. If you were to remove the object out, you get an error as well. So this object has to be sitting and blocking those beams with fixed blanking. Now that we've covered fixed blanking, I want to cover floating blanking. Now floating blanking is very similar to fixed blanking, but it's going to allow that object to move inside a threshold. Now in order to do that threshold, we're going to place the object in we're gonna teach it to that object. Now we're gonna move that object up and we're gonna set the top of our threshold. So now when I press that, we have just set our thresholds and now this object can now float inside that area. Again, it has to be the same width of this object. So if I was to stick my finger in here with it, you'll see that it actually faults it out. And if I was to remove the object, it faults it out as well. So this is a good application if you're thinking about maybe having a conveyor go through a set of light curtains, that conveyor can now float inside that set of light curtains and not have to worry about faulting the system. The last thing I want to cover is muting. Muting is going to allow you to mute the whole set of light curtains to allow objects in and out. You see this a lot with fork truck drivers or maybe an operator requesting entry into a machine and they need to mute those light curtains to get into the machine. In order to do that, I'll show you guys that here. We're going to move the cube out here, move it to the, off to the side. Now we're going to do the teach. We're going to reset those light curtains. So now the light curtains are active. You can see they turn off my hand goes in them. In order to turn the mute on, we're gonna supply power to the inputs. And now these are muted. So you can see it's not sending a faulty signal and you can now request entry into your system. And that's muting. So that's the MLC 500 series light curtains in a quick overview. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to reach out to your local NEF representative and we'll get back to you guys as soon as possible.